All right, what's good with y'all? So speaking things into existence. I really believe you can speak things into existence. For example, um, cutting hair. I remember I had a friend. I remember me and him in high school used to joke about like if I became a barber because my dad was always a barber. And I always thought barbering would be cool, but I never seen it as a long-term vision for myself. But I accidentally spoke it into existence and now I'm here. And that's also a picture of me cutting my dad's hair when I was a child. I'll put that picture right here. And it's just, you know, even though I was pretending to cut his hair, that's still the same thing as speaking it into existence, visualizing it, speaking it. Um, your words are very, very, very powerful, you know? They're celebrities and uh, and successful people that always talk about how they always knew they were going to get to this position or or they always thought that they could. It's my mind on this game, yeah? Like Vincent Van Gogh. He dedicated his life to his uh, art and lost his mind in the process. That's happened to me. But fuck it. And that gold belt was around my waist. And my mother has a big mansion. And my girlfriend has a different car for every day of the week. And my kids' kids have everything they ever want. Then it will pay. Then, I, then I'm happy I lost my mind. Yeah? I'll die a crazy old man. And there's a quote that I really like. I forgot who it's by. But it says there's two people in the world. Those who say they can and those who say they can't. And both are usually right. There's there's two people, the man who thinks they can and the man who thinks they can't. And they're both right. Meaning what you speak is probably true. You know what I'm saying? Oh, if you say like, oh, I'm always going to be poor. I'm oppressed, yada, yada, yada. Well, you probably are and you probably are always going to be poor. But if you say, you know what? Like I can put in the work. I can be successful. Then you probably will put in the work and be successful. So Really be mindful of what you speak, what you say, who you speak to, who you surround yourself with, because energy and words are so powerful. You know, here I am, uh, two years removed from, from, I would say, like speaking things into existence. And everything I said I was going to do and everything, how I pictured it is coming to fruition. And, you know, I've been talking about my barbershop and being a successful businessman and buying real estate. So even though I'm in uh, 2022, I really do believe that in the future, those things are coming. One, because I'm speaking them right now. I'm uh, affirmations. Everyone talks about affirmations. I don't really do affirmations. I kind of just keep things to uh, myself. But I repeat these things all the time. You know, like I'm going to be a millionaire before I'm 30. I'm going to have real estate. I'm going to have a barbershop. I'm going to have a successful YouTube channel. I'm going to be in shape because I'm putting in the work for these things. And as long as you're putting in the work and you're being purposeful and you're just staying disciplined and focused on your goals, it's going to happen over time no matter what. And it starts with speaking it into existence. You know, it might take uh, time for you to actually get to the point where you feel confident in saying it, but it all starts with saying it. You know, if someone said, if someone's super out of shape and they want to get into shape, they're like, you know what? Like, like I'm going to be in shape. Maybe the first time they say it, they're kind of timid and like quiet. Like, yeah, I'm going to get in shape. Then they say it again, like, you know, two weeks later after they've been working out, like, oh yeah, I'm going to get in shape. You know, by six months or a year, they're going to tell you like, oh yeah, I'm going to get in shape. You know, they're already feeling better, looking better. Like, oh yeah, I'm going to have that six pack one day, you know? And it just starts with with visualizing and speaking it out. And uh, also lies. You know, when you're lying to people, I try not to lie. I'm not going to say I don't lie. Everybody lies. But I try my best to not lie to people and to not speak lies. Because I believe that if I keep talking about a lie, one day that's going to be my reality. And I don't want my reality to be based off lies. Um, I don't want to get too preachy here. But the point is, is, just be careful what you say. Believe in what you say. And your words hold a lot of weight. And yeah, I believe on speaking things to existence. Like I said, I'm going to be a millionaire before I'm 30. I'm going to be in shape. I'm going to have a successful YouTube channel. I'm going to have real estate. I'm going to have two trades under my belt. I'm going to be making over $100,000 per year real soon within the next year. And those are all affirmations I think I'm speaking into existence. And right here, you can use this camera and look back on this video as proof. You know, it's 2022 right now, about to be 2023. I'm 21. Um... And yeah, we'll see if this uh, video holds the test of time.